Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a matcha matcha latte using almonds and coconut milk. Um, super easy um, technique I use is I take um, a teaspoon of matcha, put that in a bowl, and then I take one of these Japanese whisks, okay? And what I like to do is just add in a little bit of boiling water, not, not really, really boiling water, but hot water. And then I like to just whisk up the matcha powder. And it just kind of breaks up the powder a little bit, releases all that yummy um, antioxidants. So matcha tea is a great, great gut friendly thing you can drink. Um, really, really, really powerful as an antioxidant. So you can see it's all dissolved. And what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and I've already warmed up um, some almond and coconut milk just on the stove. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that into there. And then I'm going to take the same Japanese whisk and go ahead and whisk that for a minute. And I like to flavor my matcha with um, a bit of cinnamon and a bit of vanilla. So I just put a little bit of cinnamon there. Just a little drop of vanilla. And just go ahead and whisk that again. And that's about it. I don't like to really add any sugar to my matcha. I like it without any sugar. But if you want, you can add in a bit of honey or um, I guess a little bit of monk fruit sweetener or a bit of coconut sugar. But I like to leave it unsweetened. And make sure you're using good coconut and almond milk something that doesn't have all the nasty emulsifiers and stabilizers in it. So try to go as clean as possible. And that's it. I'm gonna just pour that into my cup. So I usually go with a one teaspoon to one cup ratio. And that's it you guys. We've got a yummy matcha tea latte.